Hey everyone, Wicked here. Welcome to a Clash of Clan episode uh, where we're going to do a Town Hall 8 war base design review uh, on my friend Bunich, who is um, the lowest level player in our clan at the moment um, in the clan war. Uh, as you can see, uh, he has only been two starred in this clan war and he gets that quite often. Um, sometimes one, sometimes two, but rarely three stars unless it's from a higher end player that had to come down to attack him. So when you're the lowest player in your in the clan war, um, you usually get three starred quite easily. But for a good player or f um, to make the enemy work for the extra extra stars is a really good base. You need a really good base design. And I think Bunage has come on to a winner here. And I really hope um, everyone will agree with me and just um, we'll have a look at his base real quick. So here we go, he's called it the bunker, so if it gets out and everyone is using it, just remember where it came from, um, and it's he's called it the, the bunker. So uh, he's got four all these walls surrounding the center here, forming a bunker, and uh, he's pretty much got one, two, one, two, three, I think he's got, yeah, three layers of walling. Um, right there. He's got the town hall in the center, um, all the air defenses in the center as well surrounding the town hall, his clan castle and his BK. He's got a few jump bombs beside the town hall and the edge here um, and the rest of these structures are all on the outside and we've got two Teslas on the outside that'll attract any giants, hogs or um, dragons, whatever troops that he deploys will um, that We'll, we'll, go f we'll go for these Teslas and there'll be traps for any of those types of troops. So what I like about this base is there's all these spaces in between here. Um, most, of the, most of the attackers deploy their army because you know it looks like it's the shortest way to the town hall. But what, what really happens is when they deploy, the, the army kind of splits in half. So some will go towards the base and some will go all the way around and go around all the way around the base making them useless um, while the other half gets destroyed by the center. So I really want, I really shouldn't explain any more because I'd rather use watch the replays and see for yourselves and, um, and we'll do a recap at the end. So I'm going to show you the first replay. Okay, so here's the first replay guys. Uh, so he's used dragons, okay, so he's got his clan castle there in the in the space there and he's dropped a rage and um, what's really smart about Bunich's um, base is he's put a witch uh, in the clan castle so he, those dragons just got distracted by a skeleton going on the outside and um, distracted them from going from the middle. Um, it also has delayed them, uh, delayed the dragons so the air defenses are shooting them down at the same time and um, he looks like he's about to go for the town hall, but look at all those air defenses. You've got the arch tower there, two air defenses left, and wizard tower if it ever reaches. So that dragon failed his mission to uh, grab the town hall, and now the rest of the dragons are going all the way around the outside. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit. All right, so you got Teslas are working on the outside. Um, they'll definitely get the one star, and this base is definitely set up to give them the one star. And as you can see, the the Tesla has tracked the the dragons there, and the air mine and air bombs have um, damaged them quite significantly. Okay, so those dragons are nearly dead, and they died, and now we've only got one dragon and wizard on the outside. So it's quite a he just defended um, two stars off of an all dragon all dragon raid um, plus he's clearing class of troops uh, it's quite an expensive raid for this guy to to make and that dragon's pretty much useless and once he gets in the center oh there's a air, air bomb just there once he gets in the center he'll get destroyed so there we go there's the one star um, usually usually uh, 10 dragon attack plus clean castle troops is usually a definite three star all right, so let's go to the next uh, next replay. Okay, so 
This is the second attack, and this time giants are being used. And we got the clan castle troops coming out straight away. And the thing is, uh, he's used his giants, but there's no backup uh, for those giants, so pretty much useless for him to uh, to drop them there. Um, but obviously, maybe he's just using them for a lure, but you don't need that many giants to lure. So here we go. Uh, so he's got the lure now. He's luring them to the to the west corner, and um, should kill those troops very soon if those uh, structures were out of the way. So now we set his second lot of giants and uh, going to the center. And there's he just tripped over a giant bomb, a very well placed giant bomb, and he seems like he's putting archers all the way around the outside to clear. So he'll definitely get the one star at the moment, and uh, so those giants are getting um, healed by a heal spell, and he's um, sending in some more wizards to clear the center. He's also using a healer, which is very rare to see here in a, in a clan wall. Um, usually you don't see uh, a healer at all. And then he's got his uh, level 10 queen to come in, and that level 10 in level 10 queen should. Uh, knock out that town hall. So as you can see he's uh, um, oh so the bot he's just tripped the air mine and air bombs and that healer. Archer Queen will kill the rest of that town hall and you've got archers on the outside. Okay so because everything's spread out and the Archer Queen just died um, there's no chance for him to get that 100% star. So we'll just re uh, fast forward this and then because there's defenses still left in the center um, he has no chance to get a 3 star. So if you want to give it a go uh, it's, uh, it's, really, it's a really interesting base. Um, a lot of lower, the lower um, leveled players on the enemy side cannot work this, uh, this base out. Um, and it usually draws in a lot of attacks from their bottom end players and then it takes someone from the mid range to the high end uh, of the of the of the of the clan to destroy it the three star I've only seen this base being three star twice and both have been a well developed town hall nine and a town hall ten so the more attacks you can draw out of the enemy clan the better for your clan and you have pretty much been a very reliable and awesome clan member to have because you're drawing out all these attacks so um, if you want to try this base just uh, do a just pause it right now and uh, um, just pause it right now and just copy it um, exactly as it is or you can tweak it maybe you can put this outside giant bomb on the outside to maybe um, help out with the giants or something like that or the, the hogs uh, but if you try the space uh, please try to film it and uh, you know share it on on the comments below um, if you tried it and you don't have any video um, recording software or anything like that just tell me how you went with it and tell me how you went with the wars um, remember if you get three star it's not meant to be a base that is like indestructible um, but just see how many defenses you got before you got three star because and see who the player was at three star view he could be someone that's t um, town hall 9 town hall 10 and um, that had to come down to attack th this base so you got to look at it that way so um, so hope you have a good time trying it out and just let us know in the comments and give it a like if you if you thought this space is pretty crazy and I'll see you next episode.